outplayed in one of the medal games. Mm. All right, let's move over to Dallas because Jason Kidd introduced as Mavericks head coach yesterday. Let's bring back our coaching carousel. Getting a little thinner now because more people have gotten jobs. Here's Kidd on the fit between Luca and Kristaps Porzingis. Take a listen. KP, you know, uh, again, this is a positive summer for him. He's healthy, right? This isn't a time where he's coming off an injury. Um, I think he's really excited about this opportunity. I think he's a perfect fit for Luca. First of all, Richard, look at your guy, J-Kid, up there. The, the nice, thick tie-knot, the, tie, the, the glasses. glasses. and all that. That's not Oakland, J-Kid. That's not that J-J. We know the <laughs> it's truth. It's not New Jersey that, 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 net, That's J-Kid. New Jersey net. That, that's the, I'm a coach now. I'm the Los Angeles Lakers. Yeah, you're Lakers supposed to grow, man. You supposed, yeah. As you get older, you get wiser. Do you agree with your guy saying that he th- – well, okay, what, what? Do I agree? Yes. Would you agree <laughs> with J-Kid saying that he mm-hmm. thinks that Chris Epps, Porzingis, and Luca are a perfect fit? I think they are, as long as Porzingis is not the second best player. You can make him the third best player on the team you have to get more help for for Luca Luca is one of those players that he puts pressure on a franchise mm-hmm. he puts pressure on a coach he puts yeah. pressure on an organization because you're like we have a guy that's 23 years old that's yeah. one of the top five players in this league we have windows to win a championship and if we don't fill that window he's going to go and he's going to be someplace else great for the next 10 years so I just don't think Porzingis is nearly enough to be like oh this is the one-two punch I think you're so wrong and he Here's why. When you go back and look two years ago when they were playing in the bubble, they were one of the best duos in the bubble two years ago. Three knee they surgeries were, ago. No, it was not. And then, by, by the way, they both was averaging. Th- they was they both was averaging thirty points a game in the bubble. They were coexisting very very well. What happened was was that Coach Steven Silas left. Okay, he was the magician behind that offense. So yep. now you have to make Porzingis feel wanted. If you're Jay Kidd, you have to go and have a sit down with Luka and say, hey, look, you can't dominate the ball 95% of the time. You only could dominate the ball 60% of the time. We're going to feature Porzingis in our offense. We're going to run sets for him. We're going to put him in position to be successful. He, that didn't happen in this postseason. He was standing around the three-point line along with everybody else watching Luca dance with the ball for 20 seconds out of the 24 seconds on the, on the shot clock and then making a the pass saying, hey, catch and shoot. That's not who Porzingis is. Even if you put Porzingis in a spot where he's averaging 20 a game again, I still don't think that that team has enough. So I, I, we, we can disagree on whether or not Porzingis can be the we second disagree. best player. That's fine. That's fine. But even if he goes back to getting featured in 20 points a game, that's not enough to get this Mavericks pass four teams in this conference. Well, look, it would be good for them if they could get past the first round. That's something that they would like to build on and be able to do. But there's no question that it's not just pressure on Jay Kidd to make the the roster work and to make the Chris Stapps luca relationship good. There's pressure on a new head of the front office, Mm -hmm. Nico Harrison. I don't know. Is this title president, general manager, executive vice president? Whatever it is, he's very important and he's now running the front office in Dallas. Um, Everyone's title structure is different in, in every team, but it is putting pressure on them because whether you also believe that KP is a great fit or answer there, it doesn't feel like that is a championship level roster at this moment. Well, 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 Richard just said even if he's averaging 20 points, it's not going to get them over the hump. By the way, they took the Clippers to seven games and he wasn't averaging 20 points. If you have a better Perzingas at that time, then the Dallas Mavericks would win that series and possibly be in the conference finals where the Clippers were. So I'm not not sold on that. Okay, cool. 